Hi everybody, my name is Tere. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And you see what happened was, <laughs> it was a very interesting time recording my first video. Did you just crack your own neck? Sorry. <laughs> Which cracks one day. It's a God. nervous tick. It's fine. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, I recorded over an hour footage of Kim Petra's Era One. Okay, literally, and tried to convert it onto uh, my computer, wouldn't work, really, really upset. So what's going to happen is we're going to listen to it again, but I'm going to use my guess. Would you like to say your name? Brianna? <laughs> <laughs> She's not used to YouTube yet, but we're going to go through the album one by one. And you're gonna get my reaction second time. Sorry, but I had to refilm it because you guys deserve a reaction. So many of you have been commenting and being like, where's era one, Dre? And I'm like, I'm getting there, I swear. And then I finally get there and I messed it up. So I'm going to react to it a second time. But she is actually going to react to it the first time because she has never heard of Kim Petra's at all. Yep. And I kind of want to hear what her reaction is going to be. Oh, what this channel is about. It's listening to music. If you like it, awesome. If you don't, tell us why. There's no anxiety. There's no um, pressure for you to feel some type of way. But all right. We found it. Are you ready? Yep. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready, but it's fine. Now, have you heard of Sophie? No. I have not heard of Sophie either. <laughs> we'll see if you hear her today. Right. We'll see if we like it. All right, here we go. We don't stop, we don't stop, we don't stop. Some club music. I should say, I should have told you actually before this, but I kind of wanted the song to start. This is like, if I could compare it, it, this music would be like, imagine you walking into Victoria's Secret. Hmm. This would be the music that's playing. I could picture time. that. I could yes. picture it. Yeah. Or you're driving your car, it's a convertible, you have the top down, it's a convertible. hair <laughs> down, and you're just like, hey. Feeling, your, feeling life. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. I, I feel it. Cool. How do you feel about that? I mean, it was very, like I said at the beginning when it first started, it was like, I felt, I felt like it could be in a club kind of thing, but also I think it probably needs, I mean, a DJ could like mix it up a little bit more, but like, I could see it in a club, like, definitely. I didn't have a problem with this track. It's very like... If I'm gonna clean my room or something, I'm gonna put my headphones in, concentrate on something, and have this in the background. Mm. But I don't think it's a bad track. I also think it's very, it's one of her first ones, so mm. I didn't mind it. I actually put it in my playlist, so um, I actually like this one. I really, I don't think I have like a specific genre that I like. It's just because like I listen to so many different genres and different like music. Yeah. Like one day I'll be listening to Blink One Eighty Two, and next day I'll be listening to Drake, and then freaking a country song or right, something like that. Right. Like it's spread know. out, but yeah. like for this one, I don't think you would specifically go to like no. no, I wouldn't specifically search the song and listen to it. Like I need to listen to this song right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But this song it reminds me of it being cute in high school or middle school or in college. if Because there's like underage drinking, I believe, that she's referring to. But I like there's some... issues in middle school and high school, so. <laughs> oh, so you can't relate to the song. I understand. I can. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was not. We all can. I was not that good. <laughs> but like, I, like the hopefulness of it, because I'm pretty sure it's she's talking about underage drinking. But. For me, be hopeful and thinking that she's a pure spirit. She's in college and she's of age. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in the beginning of this song, 
um, that guitar, that instrumental, mm-hmm. I thought of Avril Lavigne for some reason. Na 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 na. I get it. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. For some reason, that's what came into my head, and I was like, Avril? Is this Avril? <laughs> With a little air. <laughs> almost like Justin Bieber. Thank you. Thank you. Because I actually was really impressed by little Aaron and he's on here twice. Hmm. And, but he doesn't sound like, yo, I'm a little Aaron, you know what I'm saying? I know. That's what, like, like, that's, what, that's what I expected specifically because of how he looks and his name that he goes by. Right. So I was expecting like, yo, you know, whatever. But like, <laughs> so, you just, like, yeah, like, yeah. Like, what's happening? Yeah. yeah. But I was actually delightfully surprised that he sounded like this, and I was okay with it. Oh yeah. <laughs> what you planning to do though? Mm. That's that's me. Obviously, they're planning to do homework together, and she's gonna copy right. his answers, um, and it's gonna be done. Right, right. Yeah, it's a study study day. I am a child of God. <laughs> Cheating. Cheating. <laughs> but can't you see like a music video of like them in high school or middle school and like some kind of school riding song. around and just singing the song like on bicycles or on like a mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like a skateboard and then like Yeah. <laughs> like Yep, they're just gonna be exactly like that. Yeah, just like that. Yep. Exact. Yep. yep. I see things. Oh, I also in the original version said like I can't relate to this lyric because while I'm away in LA getting paid, that does not happen. Right. <laughs> um, that is not me. Um, I I, <laughs> uh, I can't even well, on a good day when I get paid, I get like rich for a day, walk around like oh, treat yourself, and then on the day it's gone. See? See? I told you that line. So, is she an adult? Is she not an adult? I don't know. It's confusing because, it, uh, like, it does kind of give me, like, a an, a slightly innocent, like, middle school-like vibe. Right. But, like, then she talks about drinking mm-hmm. and then him staying over. Mm-hmm. So, like, I know that in middle school there's definitely people that sneak their boyfriends in their rooms mm-hmm. or something. So, like, I don't know. Like, are they of age or not in this song? Hallway. See me in the hallway. Oh, that could be, like, it still could be anything. It could I be. Know. It could be any school. It could be anything. Are you okay? The hell was I feel that? like a dead body just jumped from the door. The hell was that? <laughs> anyway, um. <laughs> Welcome to Erie. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but I feel like. What hallway is she talking about? Hmm. <laughs> We can do this. I'll never, I'll never forget. Yay! You got the lyrics. Hey. I'll never, I'll never forget that. Woo! We should, we should duet sometime. Like yeah. Feel it. Uh huh. The- feel it in the room <laughs> that we should duet. I can't sing for shit. <laughs> I'm gonna break. I'm gonna break somebody's eardrums. Like, I'm like, what? this is high school. Because high school. Because like, who's gonna be driving in high school? Or I mean, middle school for one. That's true. So like, I'm pretty sure it's high school. They can have their Cinderella license. I mean, I guess, but I think you still have to be at least 14 for that, and that's that's a freshman in high school, isn't it? Like what is the Cinderella license anyway? <laughs> I, need, I, need I need to do some. Out of I, I need to do some like googling um, or something. Cause, like, I see, like, I have questions. <laughs> if you think about me, is, is that so? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this one is the one with. I'm gonna warn you now. The chorus is really weird. The drum, like, the progress, like. For some reason, maybe it's leading up to the chorus. It does this like weird thing mm-hmm. that you'll experience, and that's why 
I didn't hurt it, so. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Guys. I told you that was coming. Oh, I did for that like that lyric though. I ain't got a time, I ain't got the money to buy a new heart of mine. I did like that lyric though. Cause who has the money to buy a new heart? Like actually like in reality, do you have a for like heart surgery? <laughs> it takes a lot of money to buy a new I heart. I love that that is where you took that though. Like. <laughs> it takes a lot of money, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes, I'm, yes, it is very expensive to buy a new heart. Yes. Yep. <laughs> I feel judged and personally attacked. <laughs> that was weird. Thank you. I mean, it's, it's different. Actually, like I think it's okay. Like, oh, I you like it? Yeah, I'm not, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's bad. Like, I personally like the first one we listened to. I wasn't really a fan of that one too much, but okay. like I do like this one. I think it's all right. Okay. And homework I did like as well. Okay, but why I like this channel is because I like hearing other people's thoughts mm -hmm. and something that I don't personally might not like. People might actually like, <clears throat> but I didn't really appreciate this track. But I think it's just because it's not consistent like that build up like it's consistent so you meaning that like the, the the beat like it's all different. yes okay. and that's too I, like i feel like it's too much on this track too much even for the chorus it's like oh ah oh ah just like that like <laughs> i'm sorry i understand what you're saying though this reminds me of running. Mm. The vibe of runs. I will say that this part I'm not really a fan of. Like no. it's just like it's kind of just nothing happening. It's just like music. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't feel like there should have like was it necessary to have just that like no words and just all of that instrumental. Like <laughs> I think that was also my thing with the EP for Halloween or for the Halloween EP, Turn Off the Light, Volume 1, it had a lot of those songs that were like an interlude that were just instrumentals. Shut up. I ooh, I told her about interlude and she will not let it go. Anyway, <laughs> stop it because I don't want to say it. <laughs> anyway, the EP had a lot of that in it and I didn't understand. Like, at the end of the album... I realized that those tracks are in there because it's very Halloween feelish. Mm. And like they have a lot of like, I could see zombies crawling up through the earth and things like that. So I could see why they fit in there. But this song. Yeah, I don't think it's really necessary. A long pause. Then she had a little bit more like singing and then there was another pause at the end. So like, I feel like there's too many pauses in this one song. Yeah. Like personally, that's how I feel about yeah. that. Track, heart to break oh my hold my laptop hold my laptop i really really like this song i can't make I, it I, I can i can tell i see it it's with my self-control I just like this beat. I do. I like that. I do. I fully support. <laughs> Can you relate to this song? Maybe. <laughs> yes, I can. I really. What? Yes, I can relate a little bit. Okay. 
Get like an Avril Lavigne vibe for me. I was getting that too. What's she talking about? <laughs> what are we, 12? <laughs> Say I did write some of these songs down as like you ever I think the most thing that bothered me about this song was the repeated you you use and yeah yeah yas. You you use and yeah yeah yes. What are we cheerleaders? <laughs> <laughs> I mean okay, so like but I can imagine it like an actual cheerleading squad doing this song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't want to do it every day. All the time. I can relate to the lyrics, but I don't really think I like the song that much. Have their like little outfits and like their skirts and like. Yeah. Yeah. I could see it. Yeah. Pure men style. I don't know. <laughs> but that's that's literally what I imagine the song is. <laughs> to begin with, cheerleading is not my worst day. <laughs> I can't. I can't. It's so repetitive, but that was the second. That was the second song I didn't like. Yeah, because the first one was uh, if or wait. Yeah, it wasn't. I just didn't mark that one. So it was. If you think about me. Yep, and, and then, then all the time. time. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm like I can like I said I can relate to the lyrics, but like I don't really think I like the song. Okay, we can skip to the next one. Okay. Can't do better. I did like it. Reminded me of Avril Frickin' Levine. You're good. Okay. <laughs> kill my insecurity. I like that one. So I kill my insecurities. I really, really like that. You can't do better. I do see the Avril Levine. Thank you. I see it. Thank you. I'm gonna scream this in the car. I hope you're ready. <laughs> Maybe that's why I like the song so much. I just screamed that chorus. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's the reason why I like the song, probably. Actually, be taking a list and writing it down your favorites. See, like because this is not like my genre, like I'm losing papers. Um, I don't really Sorry. know. Like, I can listen to the songs, and, like I can listen to them, but I don't know if I really have a favorite yet. I no, I do like homework. I do like that one. Yeah, but I think that's because. Of the feature, honestly, because like I like the really yeah, I think that's probably it. Um, it's not that's I'm not trying to say that I don't like her. It's just like I love her voice. I do like like her music and stuff. It's just like it's not my genre, right? And like I don't know, but that's interesting that you like the feature more than the actual artist because I think we came into this being like well, mm -hmm. but he actually kind of proved you wrong. Yeah, that's that's good. Yeah. Maybe we'll take a little animal somewhere. <laughs> oh, I also said that the song was so relatable because I drink so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everything is fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that feature did it for me because he was like, make a couple blunts and make a double, double stuff. Yeah, yeah, like double stuff. <laughs> I don't think it's bad. I it's just, not. No. Um, but I already like this song. I, I think it's uh, definitely like. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's me. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. So, even with little Aaron. I mean, it took him, a, like, it literally, he's got one minute of the song and, like, the whole rest of it was her. Because I, like, I mean, I understand that because he's just a feature, but, like. If nobody Give this one more dance on! Yeah, like, if, if, <laughs> if you didn't know it was a featured song and, like, you were just listening to it, you'd be like, oh, wow, there's another person in this song. Right. And then the song's over. Is it- Imagine this song on like during a sex scene during a, a TV show or something like. Yeah. Yeah. What was it? Boys like you never want to slow it down. Oh, I did actually like that in the song. Lean back and let me show you how. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know what that means. Mm-hmm. We know what that means. Imagine Taylor Swift actually singing that song. I could too. Yep. Yeah. I see it. So that's why I literally hearted it because I feel like uh, she did great on this track, but like I can hear it for so many other artists as well. Mm-hmm. So, um, but I love that track. What about you? I do. I think it's just slow music for me. Like it's a little too slow for me. But I, if I just like sit and listen to the music though, or the, the lyrics though, like yeah, I like it. I do like the lyrics and like everything. But slow songs are just not for me. But at the same time, I do like some slow songs. So. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> feel about that one i like it i do yeah yeah i like it because it's about <laughs> uh-huh it's children present where <laughs> yeah maybe i don't know okay i don't want to be a bad influence but they're talking about that oh the devil's will that is <laughs> and that's why i like it because that would be a song i would listen to uh huh. Yep. <laughs> I'm appropriate. Very over here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll come babysit. <laughs> <laughs> I was so confused for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not me peeing. <laughs> For this, in my original video, Stranger Things, remember when the moms were on, like, yes. the full side? Mm-hmm. This song would be playing. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, like, a definitely, like, an 80s type, mm-hmm. like, song. That's what I felt like. Mm-hmm. Yep. Thank you for <laughs> conceptualizing what I was feeling. <laughs> <laughs> kind of reminds me of, um, sorry. Same. Um, what's her name? We were literally just talking about her earlier, that one song. Um, Lizzo Juice. Yes, that one. That that's, got it. That's it. Yes, got it. Yes, I I got the connection. I knew. <laughs> I could not think of the words at all. Got it. Okay, let's. No, just... I can see that too. Like the 
mm-hmm. like, in the lotion and the, like the way she was pumping and like yeah got it I'm falling apart! <laughs> Ooh, I, I also, carrying on with the Stranger Things mm. theme, I could see Elle and her best friend in like the mall and like shopping. Mm-hmm. And yeah, the yeah, Elle and Max. Yep. And having the song playing in the background. Yeah. Because they were going through boy issues in Hillside Boys. Yeah, that actually would be perfect, honestly. Happy I made that question. Uh. Let's go shopping. With what money? <laughs> what money do we have? I just got new coupons. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that a bop or not? I like it. Yep. I do. Cool. I like it too, just because I can see that time period and just mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. reminisce about like. The good old days that I wasn't even thought of yet. I was gonna say we weren't even <laughs> born. <laughs> this one I'm getting some... an eighties vibe from this one as well. Oh, this lyric though. All my clothes designer, and I want somebody else to buy them. I feel that one hundred percent. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I was like, that is the best lyrics. <laughs> that is perfect ever. <laughs> like, yes, please. Yes, and that's how I feel every single time I walk into Victoria's Secret. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, that looks great. I want it, but I don't want to buy that. Yeah. <laughs> so, can I show you my boobs for you to buy this? <laughs> like, <laughs> have a sugar daddy. <laughs> And this is uh, featuring cheat codes. Okay. I know who that is. Um, do you remember um, uh, Demi Lovato? Uh, promise me no promises. That background is cheat codes. Oh, okay. Are you ready? It's random. It's random. <laughs> You paused it literally. I paused it! You ruined the moment! I'm not going to. So I was with that as a bop. It was okay. It was okay. Like yeah. I liked it a little bit. Like I like the um it's like it's very dancey song. So So the songs that I reviewed to keep One, Two, Three, Days Up featuring Sophie, Homework featuring Little Aaron, Heart to Break, Bop. Bop 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 bop. Anyway, can't do better. Avril Lavigne style, <laughs> um, faded. It's not your genre. Get out of here. Um, slow it down. Slow it down. <laughs> yes, hills. Yes, let's let's blaze up in the hills. Hillside boy, we all love those hillside boys. Mm. Um, I don't want it at all. That lyric, relatable as shit. Um, and then feeling of falling, love it. I would dance to it again and again and again and again. Yeah. (laughs) Well, okay. I liked um, I liked homework. I will give you the laptop. You are in the front row. Um, I liked homework. I liked. Uh, I think I liked the lyrics of Slow It Down, but I didn't really like the, like, song itself. And I liked Hills, I liked Hillside Boys, and I liked I Don't Want It All. 
I don't want it at all. That one. Yeah, those Got are mine. My boots. Yay! We kind of turned her into a fan. Okay. It's to work. Yeah, she has to get to work. So everybody say bye. They said bye. Like, you just can't hear them because they're not very happy. They will. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Um, I am so sorry again for the video being corrupt. Uh, for somebody who is just coming into listening to Kim Petra's and not like listening to her beforehand, doesn't know what her sound is, um, I, I think she did a great job. Um, I'm gonna try to upload more regularly. Um, it's just a little hard right now with my work schedule and things like that, but, um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I was really impressed by this era one because I feel like, uh, Kim Petra has literally, um, come so far in her career from when she was making singles like this to now making full length albums. And it's so interesting to see an artist who understands themselves, who is experimenting more with their music and even doing concept albums. That's so cool to do. So I encourage this. If you're an artist out there, if you really want to pursue music and things like that, don't stop. Like, all because it might not be in somebody's genre wheelhouse and they might not like it, doesn't mean other people won't. Um, and that is it. I really, really enjoyed reacting. I hope you like this reaction. I'm so sorry. Um, but, you know, things are going to happen. And I'm going to fail. And that's the whole part of learning YouTube and just being yourself. So, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Um... Actually, comment below on um, if you did like this video. Maybe I'll get her in more videos and we can like turn up to music that you guys re recommend. But uh, it was definitely interesting having her here and like sitting in front of you guys and just having a blast with me. And I think like that's literally what this channel is meant to be is for people to who she has major anxiety. She and... She was very nervous, but just to have her sit down and actually do this, um, I think she did handle it very well. And hopefully we'll get better, both of us get better with our anxieties and be confident and everything like that. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting my channel. Thank you guys for everything. We are up to like 51 subscribers. That's crazy. Crazy to me. But... I appreciate it. I appreciate every single moment of this. Um, Alright, I will see you guys later because Groot is upset because my hair is covering his face. I'm trying to duck, bro. I'm trying. Alright, see you guys later. Bye! Hey. You! Okay. <laughs> but I thought this was a, actually... I will actually just tell you what I thought about the song. So obviously it's not like elementary school. It might not well, be we middle school. I hope to God it's not <laughs> elementary school. I mean, <laughs> damn. Anyway. Um, that one I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. Double chin happening right now. Right? Oh, I always double chin it. Literally. Okay, Looking. You're, to, you're my pride. Look at me. <laughs> yeah. I honestly think my dancing like ups the song. Mm -hmm. Just a little leg it makes up. Makes it better. Yeah, yeah. like. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because literally, if you saw me dancing to that song in your room, you wouldn't crack a smile. Like you wouldn't be like Teresa in her element. Like I mean, I would dance. always. Right. Like I always do when you're doing your thing. Right. Just like this girl. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I got that with like. Uh huh. Uh huh. If you think about me, the intro. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm a terrible guest. Mm. <laughs> lyric in there, sorry, I didn't mean to almost touch your crotch, but <laughs> <laughs> there was a little AA wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many times he gets that. Mm. Um.
I like how your thigh is right next to mine. It's causing my thigh to look like I'm sorry, but I want to make sure I'm in, like, the camera and, like, I have hips. I'm sorry. Yeah, you do. It's fine. I gotta be basically sitting on your lap. Literally. Literally, you move your hip and I'm like, ah! I'm sorry. It's, it's fine. fine. We black women. We be hipped. We hipped. <laughs> but I would totally dance. But literally, when I, I would dance, I don't know how to dance. Your best friend, you need to contribute to this relationship. I dance. Yes. I'm sorry. Anyway, why not? <laughs> I mean, what am I gonna do? Lose subscribers? Bye. <laughs> no. Please, please, please stay. Love Tell me. your friends. <laughs> Love me! <laughs> I'm just running after all my subscribers. Love me! <laughs> I just, I still think that the one who, like, mastered, like, sexual songs is probably Somo. Like that. Like, yeah. Yeah, I could, I could see this one, though. Yeah, I could. I just had to bring another artist into this. Like, I'm sorry, no. I'm sorry. Okay. I'll shut my mouth. No, you're fine. I mean, I'm sure a lot of females out there listen to this song, so they're just like, I don't need a man. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> I can get down to this. Yeah, anyway, whatever. Uh, let's continue listening to this song. <laughs> Would you like me to leave? No. He's a ginger. He's got long, beautiful hair. <laughs> Slow it down. Oof. Okay. Slow it down. You're welcome.